you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 1st 2021 happy peace day let's begin this day with the blessings of uh, our lord jesus christ A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 2 verses 16 to 21. They went with the haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child laying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them after eight days had passed it was time to circumcise the child and he was called Jesus the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb the gospel of the Lord praise you Lord Jesus Christ today the Holy Catholic Church celebrates the solemnity of uh, Mary, uh, the mother of God. And uh, Happy New Year 2021, my dear friends. As we continue to celebrate the birth of Jesus, we turn our attention today to his mother Mary, but we continue to focus on Jesus as well. We give various titles to Jesus, such as Savior, Christ, Messiah, Lord, Son of Man, and each of these titles expresses an aspect of our understanding of Jesus. The same way, we give many titles to Our Lady. There is a long list of them in the litany of Our Lady of Loreto. And the title we celebrate today, Mother of God. And the title, Blessed Virgin, are the two oldest titles given to Our Lady. In one sense, the title Mother Mary says more about Jesus than it does about Our Lady. That's why I said we continue to focus on Jesus today also. What does the title Mother of God say about Jesus? It means that the humanity and divinity of Jesus are united in Jesus. There is not a separate human Jesus and a separate divine Jesus. There is one Jesus with the human nature and the divine nature. True God and true man. And because there is one Jesus we saw Mary is mother of God. Mother of God. Some would like to know if there is no, there is anything in scripture, Bible, to support the title mother of God. And the clarification by the bishops in the council of Ephesus is just as for so many of our Catholic beliefs, there are statements in scripture that give us that the background. We could begin with the second reading today and accept of Paul's letter to the Galatians, one of his earliest letters written only about two decades after Jesus and even before the Gospels were written. In today's excerpt, we heard God sent his son born of a woman. God the Father sent his son Jesus to the world and Jesus was born of a woman. This statement from St. Paul supports the title Mother of God. God sent his son born of a woman. Another helpful statement in the scripture supporting the title Mother of God is in Luke's Gospel. When Mary visits Elizabeth and Elizabeth cries out. Cries out. How does it happen that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Elizabeth proclaims Mary to be the mother of God. Uh, my Lord. This is indeed very close to Mother God. God. She became Mother of God because God had specially prepared her to be the perfect dwelling place for Jesus to grow for the nine months before he was born. We call this special preparation for our lady to be the perfect mother of Jesus, her immaculate conception, which we celebrate on December 8th. We thank our lady for becoming mother of God. We are happy to venerate Our Lady, especially today as mother of God, because 
widow of her love for us as she comes again and again to help us in places such as Lourdes and Fatima and we love her in return. Yes. So dear friends, we know why we have the second reading, the gospel and the gospel we have today. What connection does the first reading have with today? It gives us the words of blessings priests used in the temple in Jerusalem as they blessed people at the conclusion. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. There are three parts to the blessings. Each part longer than the previous. The remaining of a blessing in the name of Trinity. Yes. So my dear friends, as we begin this new year 2021, our Lord Jesus Christ wipe away this coronavirus from this world, the sins of the world, and we venerate Mary, Mother of God, was specially prepared by God to be the perfect sinless mother for Jesus while he grew in her womb for nine months before he was born. Yes, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. Happy Peace Day. Amen.